Is scuba diving safe? In the deep blue sea, a basic understanding of aquatic realities can mean everything. And if you're watching this video, chances are you already know that scuba means self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. And a few of you may even be a member of the 20 meter dive world club. But for those who aren't familiar with the ways of the scuba, we are about to go down into the deep to answer the pressing question on the heart of many new divers about scuba. But before that, don't forget to hit the red button below this video to subscribe to the Brilliance channel and the bell button to get notified of our new videos every single week. So, how safe is scuba diving? Let's get down into it. Scuba diving has been around for a while now, as far back as 1943, when Jacques Cousteau and Emily Gagnon invented the aqualung, which is more commonly known as scuba. And it has become one of the most popular recreational sports in the world enjoyed by people of all ages from all walks of life. And since 1943, different apparatus have evolved in a number of ways, which help a diver to tackle the challenges that they may face in the open water. From fantastic coral reefs to eerie shipwrecks and incredible marine life enjoyed by thousands of people around the world, scuba diving comes with some risk. Not to frighten you though, but just like any adventure sport, some risk is involved as humans are not built to breathe underwater which means that a diver is completely dependent upon the proper equipment, skills, and emergency training to ensure a safe resurface for every dive. And this truth, while it may sound frightening, should not discourage prospective divers. However, it should encourage divers to approach the deep sport with an appropriate amount of respect. Scuba diving is not dangerous as long as a diver seeks thorough training, follows safe diving guidelines, issues proper gear and dives within his experience level. But if otherwise, scuba diving can present with some life-threatening conditions like decompression sickness, DECS, also called the bends, the arterial air embolism, and of course, drowning. There are also effects of diving such as nitrogen narcosis that can contribute to the cause of these problems. So how safe is scuba diving? Let's cut to the chase and answer the biggest, scariest question. How likely are you to die scuba diving? According to the Divers Alert Network, DAN 2010 Diving Fatalities Workshop Report, a diving fatality occurs in one out of every 211,864 dives. In other words, the safety of scuba diving all depends upon the diver's attitude towards personal training and practice. And that is on the list. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to this channel. Until we meet again, dive carefully, guys.